In this problem, um, there are actually many ways to solve this problem. I'm going to show you one nice technique that I like. Um, this is talking about medians, and so when you connect up your medians, that means that vertices are connected up with midpoints on the side, and then the um, point they meet is called the centroid, and there's what's called the centroid theorem. And the centroid theorem says that the distance from the centroid, this point in the middle, to a side is um, along the median, is half the distance from the centroid to a vertex. So that means if one of the medians is 39, this is 13 and this is 26. One's 42 and this is 14 and this is 28. So they're just double each other, which leaves this to be 15 and this to be 30. One important fact about um, the centroid is that it actually breaks um, this triangle into six little triangles, and these six triangles all have the same area. Um, you can prove this using um, some, some very basic area relationships in a triangle, but just we'll just hold it as fact for this video. That means if I can find the area of one of those triangles, then I can um, uh, find the area of the whole thing. The second thing you can take advantage of is the fact that this is a midpoint of a side. And the reason that's valuable is because we can construct a segment here that's also 13, which means this point is also the midpoint of, if we call this AB, here, which means if I connect these lines up, it creates a quadrilateral, and that quadrilateral has diagonals that bisect each other. And if uh, diagonals bisect each other, then it's a parallelogram. And in a parallelogram, it is the same thing is true as is in, in this triangle with the centroid, and that is this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle all have the same area. Very valuable piece of information because now, if you look at this, we know that this length right here is 26. If you just kind of pull this triangle out, this is 28. This is 26, and then because this is 30, and these are opposite sides of a parallelogram, which are the same, that's 30. Those two triangles represent are the same. That means if I can find the area of this, I can find the area of one of those six triangles inside the central the uh, triangle we're finding, and I just multiply by six, and that's my answer. Or I can just multiply by three. So using Heron's formula, my semi-parameter um, turns out to be 42. So the area equals the semi-perimeter times semi-perimeter minus each of these, so 12, 14, and 16. Well, 16 already is a perfect square. You got a 14 here, a 14 here, so that's a perfect square. And then 3 times 12 is 36, so that 6 is a perfect square. So that means the area of this guy is 24 times 14. Um, which turns out to be 336. And then, as I said, that's the area of these two guys. Well, since all of these triangles are the same, that means these two is equal to 336. And so I can just multiply this 336 times 3. If I multiply the 336 times 3, I end up getting, uh, let's do this just really quick. 1008, and that is the answer to this question. Where this technique comes into play primarily is when you have a Sevian drawn in, and the Sevian is a, a, a median. It bisects that side. Whenever that's the case, then you can create this parallelogram, which then ultimately will allow you to create a triangle that you can find the area of because of here. Like I said, there are other nice techniques techniques to the problem, but this is a this is a good one.